I think it has to be like a natural relationship. Like everybody in our position generally, I think, looks to be a mentor, but you can't force it. You're not going right. to be a great mentor to everybody because a lot of them aren't ready for it because of where they're at in their life. They just don't want it. You know, some people are great writers on the page, but if, if they go to set, they don't know how to talk to anybody. Um, it has to be like a natural thing, like people who, who are ready to um, be given more responsibility, they blossom with it, and then you know, you're know you gaining something even as you're mentoring them. That, that's when it's at its ideal, I think. You I learn, say, it's you not learn. a selfless, it's yeah. not an entirely selfless act. Yeah. Right. It's an incre there's incredible utility to mentoring You want them to room. take over areas that you- Yeah, <laughs> because please go do that job exactly. if you can do it. Okay. No, I mean, it's, yeah. we have a, someone in our room this year who, um, uh, some friends of ours had told us you have to get this guy's coming off of another show. He's uh, and he's great and he's young and ready. And we had a healthy dose of skepticism about it. He was a really good writer, but it was clear that if we spent time with this person, he's going to have his own shows 100%. And so we've spent a ton of time. Like, come to mix with us. Come to the editing room. Come all these places where maybe other people. You're not bringing other people be because we want to. You know, this person's 33 years old or something. We want, when you're 35, you to be able to really go do this. Yeah, when you're 50, to hire us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's underneath all of it.